welcome back to our youtube channel today we are going to see the code forces problem that is alice and fox okay so let's read the problem statement first so in this problem alice has n books the first book contains ai a1 pages second book contains a2 pages and so on the nth book contains a n pages alice does the following c divides all the books into two non empty piles thus each book ends up in exactly one of the two piles okay alice reads one book with the highest numbers number in each pile and alice loves reading very much help her to find the maximum total number of pages she can read by dividing the books into two piles what do you understand it is question this is very simple what it is saying it is saying e that means uh, we need to divide the books into two piles this pile and this pile and the number basically the highest number highest number is not means number of pages it means the number of a uh, num index number this is what it means so if we say here in the first case one and one so what we can do we can put one here one here we can read one book from this pile one book from this pile answer will be two that is very straight forward no problem so let's see a better case so we have 2 3 3 one right now what we can do we need to put one file at least one file to one file right so let's say this is file 1 this is file 2 what we can do we can put this file here that it be it is here two we can put one file here <clears throat> three another file three and one here okay so the number of this file is two for this it is three this it is one this it is four so which book from this file i can read i can read only this book from this file which book i can read i have to read this file because the highest number is 4 okay so the highest number is 4 that is the main scenario here so let's say for in this case answer will be the 3 plus 1 that is 4 let's see one better scenario we have file here and here let's say we have put this thing 3 here two here okay now again we have one and three the file will be four three and here 2 1 we need to read file from the file that has the maximum index the maximum index from file 1 is this so we can read 3 from this it is again 1 we can read this we can't do like this we, we are putting something some other value and then we are able to read no we can't we have to read the maximum index that is our goal so let's say how can you solve this problem right that means you need to find the maximum value right maximum value you can read because like suppose even if this value 3 or 5 let's say 5 is at the starting point we can put in this file so there is only one file we can read this definitely but which file do i need to read a uh, second file that is the main question so the second file will be the last one obviously we don't have any choice because in other other file there will be all other files except that max one so we need to read the last one because that is the maximum index right that is one thing but here is the catch what is that catch let me explain you with the example so suppose instead of 
टू थ्री थ्री इट कैन बी टू वन थ्री थ्री वट विल बी दंसर नाउ आंसर विल बी दी सिक्स इयर हाउ सिक्स हाउ सिक्स सपोज इन फाइल वन वॉट वी कैन डू यू कैन पुट दिस फाइल टू वन थ्री एंड हियर वी आर पुटिंग ऑनली दिस फाइल सो दिस फाइल ऑब्वियसली वी कैन रीड एंड दिस फाइल this that is the maximum number that is 3 we can read this file as well right so this is not a good example let me tell you mm, okay one more example let's say here we have four value right so what we can do we will try to find the second max now Our goal is not to find the maximum. Our goal is trying to find uh, find the second maximum. Second maximum is three, so we'll put three here and remaining two, one, four. This book obviously we can read, no doubt. But second maximum, like we can have only one file index, or the files with the below index. That's it. Otherwise, we can't read that file. So that is our goal. So let's see the implementation to understand this. Yeah, we need to take the input like this. Int n c n declare the vector. Take the input, and we need to find the max value and the second max value. So we have declared like this. Take the input, and Take like how can you find the second max in max if that value is greater than equal to max? That means second max will be the maximum value, and our maximum value is the new value. That is our goal. Okay. So at the end, if last value is equal to the max value, that means we can utilize the second max value as well. If not, if not, that is not the case. Then we can't utilize the second maximum. That means we need to read the last value. That is b of n minus one, right? So this is the solution for this question. Hope you understood this solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you and keep coding.